Welcome to our video today. We'll be discussing the different grants you can receive when you're on personal independence payment or PIP. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave your questions or comments below. Your support makes a huge difference. PIP is a benefit for people with long-term health conditions or disabilities designed to help cover extra costs associated with these conditions. It's not means tested, meaning it doesn't matter how much you earn or have in savings. When you're receiving PIP, you may be eligible for a variety of grants and benefits. These depend on your circumstances and the severity of your condition. One option could be the Motability Scheme, which helps with the costs of a car, scooter or powered wheelchair. Another is the Blue Badge Scheme, which grants free parking in most places. You may also qualify for a council tax reduction, which can lower your council tax bill. Some utility companies even offer grants and schemes to help with your energy bills. The Disabled Facilities Grant is another one to consider. It funds changes to your home to help you live more independently. Additionally, there are grants available from charities such as the Disability Grants and Turn Twows. These can fund anything from equipment to respite care. If you're a student, you might be eligible for the Disabled Students' Allowances. This could help cover additional study costs resulting from your condition. In some cases, you could also be entitled to a reduction or exemption in vehicle excise duty, often known as road tax. Extra financial support might also be available if you have children. The Disability Living Allowance for Children could provide help towards the higher living costs of bringing up a child with a disability. There is also the Carer's Allowance if you look after someone for more than 35 hours a week. This is a benefit for those who care for someone with substantial caring needs. Pension credit is another benefit to consider if you're of pension age. This tops up your income if you're on a low income. You could also receive a reduction in your TV license fee if you're registered as blind or severely sight impaired. There's also a cold weather payment during periods of particularly cold weather. This can help cover the increased heating costs. Furthermore, there's the Warm Home Discount Scheme that offers a one-off discount on your electricity bill. You could potentially receive free travel or discounted fares on public transport, depending on where you live. Remember, it's always worth seeking advice from an expert to ensure you're receiving all the grants you're entitled to. Every person's situation is unique, and what you may be entitled to can depend on a range of factors. It's also essential to regularly check for updates as benefit rates and eligibility criteria can change. Remember, PIP is there to help you, so it's essential to explore all the options available to you. Thank you for watching our video on the grants you can get on PIP. We hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's a simple way to support us and we greatly appreciate it. Let us know in the comments if there's something else you'd like us to cover.